Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is, do you trust your partner enough to be vulnerable? A lot of times when we get into relationships, there's a little bit of us that's guarded. And so it should be in the beginning, especially because you want to be able to go in knowing that you're fully aware of everything that's happening. And trusting somebody too quickly, especially today, is not the best idea. So you want to take your time getting to know somebody. But you also want to know at the end of the day that you're spending time with somebody and you need to be able to trust them. Because what happens in a relationship, if you're not on board with how things are progressing together, and there's things inside of you that are maybe a little jaded from your past or maybe just things you're a bit aware of with some of their actions and you're not really sure whether they're being true to who they say they are, you need to be very careful. But if you're in a relationship with somebody and you've been spending a fair amount of time with them, are you emotionally available? Are you open to sharing what's going on with you? Because the one true thing in a relationship that keeps it progressing and keeps it close for years to come is having a solid trust. So everyone's different with how they react and how they progress in their relationships and how open they want to be with each other. The thing is that you should be looking for when you are meeting your person to spend your life with is you want to make sure that you are both emotionally there, that you do connect and you can have the deep conversations. Because if you find that there's a, a closed sort of door that you can't come through in a par partnership, it doesn't get better over time. And these are the things you need to figure out when you are dating somebody. Is there a door that is shut and you don't feel that you can pass by? Because this is something that is going to be a big deal later on in your relationship. Because the small things in the beginning always become big things later on. So you have to make sure that you're okay with how you communicate with each other and what you share and feel vulnerable about sharing with them. Because vulnerability is a really big part of trust and being in a partnership with someone you love. Trusting your partner is one of the most important parts of a relationship. Because if you don't trust them, you become insecure, you become jealous. There's all sorts of, sorts of things that can go wrong within your relationship. Because this is the foundation of you as a couple. And if it's tarnished at all because there's been a problem, uh, maybe there was a, a situation that happened in the beginning of your relationship, maybe they cheated with somebody before they met you and you've got this sort of, you know, scary feeling all the time, you've got a fear about them doing it to you, you've got a trust issue with them. So if you're both emotionally available and can talk about everything, don't bury your fears. If you've got something that you're worried about with them, in the very beginning especially, please talk to them about it. If it's bothering you, your instincts are telling you something. So listen to them and get the answers that you want. If you're communicative and open and you have no problem sharing things that are maybe upsetting you, bothering you, that you have fears about in your life, and you sit down and you have these really heart-to-heart -heart conversations with each other, it, it keeps you close because you're, you're drawing each other out and you're feeling safe that you can open up and talk about these things. And feeling safe in a relationship is very, very important because it makes you want to talk. It makes you want to be with them. You trust them. And this is something that a lot of couples, they say, well, you know, I'm not, not that communicative. I'm, I'm a little more closed. Well, why are you that way? Because if you want to have a long-term relationship with somebody, this is what keeps it going. Because you talk to each other, you share things with each other. If you feel disconnected in any way when it comes to being communicative with somebody, eventually it wears over time because that person gets tired of trying to bring you out and trying to find out what you're thinking, what's going on with you, why are you in this mood? So please trust your partner enough that you can be vulnerable with them. 
let them see the side of you that you really truly want to share with somebody. Because let's face it, if you can be open with your partner about most things, that makes a really great relationship. It also helps you solve things that maybe you can't figure out for yourself sometimes. Maybe there's a reason you're feeling a certain way and maybe they can help you with that. But if you don't tell them what you're feeling, what you're thinking, your pains or your, your fears, as I said earlier, they're not really feeling that close to you to be able to talk to you about everything. And they're going to maybe close down too because they're not going to feel safe enough to share their stuff with you because you're not sharing it with them. So please don't overlook this as not an important thing. If somebody's emotionally unavailable and you're the opposite to that, it's probably not going to work long term because you're the one that's always sharing and you're not getting anything back. So please pay attention to this. Thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Click like and leave any comments you have. I always love to hear from you. Thank you so much.